Okay, this is uh, Second Chronicles 20, 30 and verse 20 and 21. We're gonna, I'm showing, again, I'm showing more examples of how they kept Passover. And Yahuwah hearkened unto Hezekiah and healed the people. And the children of Yasharal that were present at Jerusalem, this is where they were present at. They were present at Jerusalem, kept the Feast of Unleavened Bread seven days with great gladness. And the Levites and the priests praised Yahuwah day by day, singing with loud instruments unto Yahuwah. So again, they were present at Jerusalem, keeping the Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is Ezra 1 and 1. And Josiah held the feast of the Passover in Jerusalem. Listen at this. All these, again, scripture after scripture, they held the feast in Jerusalem unto Yahuwah. Why Jerusalem? Because this is where he chose to place his name. We can't, uh, you're going to hear me say it over and over. We cannot keep this Passover anywhere we want to keep it. We cannot slaughter this Passover lamb within our gates. And offered the Passover on the 14th day of the first month. <laughs> okay, this is the book of Josephus. And it's, it's book 6, 9, and 3. And I'm, go I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just going to pull out the points that I want. Let's see. Okay. Okay, and the number of those that were carried captive during the whole war was collected to be 9,000. Okay, I don't want that. The greater part of whom were indeed of the same nation with these citizens of Jerusalem. So these were the citizens of Jerusalem here. But not belonging to the city itself. For they come up. From all the countries. This is what they did to keep this Passover. And the Feast of Unleavened Bread. They came up from all over the world. To keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Were on a sudden shut up in by the army. They came in and they were shut in. By the army. They actually they, they got trapped there. And I'm going to scroll down. And get to the important point. I want to get to. Let's see, I'm not, let's see. Okay. So these high priests. Upon. The coming of the feast, which is called Passover, when they slayed their sacrifice from the ninth hour to the eleventh hour, but so that a company not less than ten belonged to each sacrifice, for it is not lawful for them to feast singly by themselves. So, you know, Josephus, they knew, understood it's not lawful to feast by yourself. We can't be in our different separate homes feasting by ourselves in different camps and different groups that's not how it's done and that this is the point i want to bring out and another important point i'm about to bring out here okay here's our here it says this this is the list of people now watch this this is the list of people that cannot partake of the passover for as to those that have leprosy or gonorrhea or women that have their monthly courses or such as are otherwise polluted, it is not lawful for them to be partakers of this sacrifice. They can't partake of the Passover if they have uh, leprosy, gonorrhea, or a woman on a monthly. Now, I don't hear anyone teaching this. So when they having these Passover events and you got hundreds, if not thousands, coming to events, these women could be on their monthly. They're not even, they can't partake of the Passover and I know people hadn't heard that but it's in the law that you cannot be partakers of any type of feast a Kadash day and you on your monthly or you have some type of, of disease you can't do it it's you 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 are polluted and you're polluting a Kadash feast it is not lawful for them to be partake of this is this sacrifice nor indeed any foreigners to come to worship. So again, are these people telling uh, these ladies that you cannot partake if you're on your monthly? You don't hear that. So the people don't know. So what happens? They come and partake of these feasts on their monthly. This, this is wickedness. And the people don't know it. The people do not know it. Why? Because we are a lost, we are a lost people. 
I'm, I'm going to just be plain with you here. We are a lost people. We woke up to find out who we were and everyone doing what they think is right in their own eyes. Now, let's see the example in, in the New Covenant and how uh, they did it. This is Luke 2, 41 through 43. And it's dealing with uh, Mary and Joseph. And his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. So they went every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. So what was the custom? You go to Jerusalem. It was simple. You know, they got this. We don't get this today. And when they had fulfilled the days, what days? Fulfill what days? The seven days of Feast of Unleavened Bread. They, re they as they returned, the child Yahushua tarried behind in Jerusalem, and Joseph and his mother knew not of it. So again, we're seeing them partaking of it at Jerusalem. This is Judges 21 and 25. In those days, there were no king in Yasharal. Every man did which was right in his own eyes. And this is us today. There is no king over us in Yasharal. No king. And so right now, every man doing what they feel is right in his and, own, his and her own eyes. Is it, is it um, his commandments? You know, this is the question that has to be asked. Are we doing what he says? Man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Almighty, or we're doing what we want to do. This is what's going on. We're doing what we want to do. This is Amos 5, 21 and 22, and I have to bring this out. This is how he feels about these feast days that we take upon ourselves to do, just because it's written in Scripture, and we can't carry it out the way it's supposed to be carried out. You know, we do it ourselves. He says, I hate I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. So he's saying, he's telling us right here, he's not going to have a part of it. Why? Because all of this, this wickedness is, is, is there and it's a stench to him. Though you offer me burnt offering of your meat offering, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offering of your fat beasts. So, you know, again, He's telling us he's not going to be a part of our wickedness. He wants us to do what he say do. This is 1 King 22 and 17. And he said, <coughs> I saw Yasharal scattered upon the hills. This is us today. It, it, was, it was back then and it's us today. Nothing new under the sun. I saw Yasharal scattered upon the hills as sheep that have no shepherd. This is us. Sheep with no shepherd. And Yahuwah said, this is what we ought to do. And this is what he's telling us right now. These have no masters. So let them return every man to his, his house in Shalom. So when we don't have a shepherd, which we don't, he don't want us all scattered out and about and trying to keep feast days on our own and doing all these, doing all this wickedness and not doing it the way it's supposed to be done. He's saying let everyone go to their own house in Shalom. And this is what we should be doing. We should be seeking him in our own house in Shalom. This is the word. This is not coming from me. This is coming from the word. And see, a lot of these people, a lot of these camps can't give you scriptures like this. This, they, they, you know, I'm going to say this, this. They have a lot of similarities with the church. They won't give you scriptures like this that's telling us we don't have a king. We don't have a shepherd. We must return to our house in Shalom. This is one that they, they, they want you to come within their camps so that their camp is better than the other camps. You, you, this is it's a bunch of mess. That's, you know, it ain't about who's better, who got more knowledge, who's smarter than the others. None of that. None of that matters. None of that matters. It's who keeping, who's doing what thus says Yahuwah said to do. This is what matters. This is what he's looking at. And that's why I'm, I'm you know, I'm leaving you with, with this. First Samuel 15 and 22. And again, you know, <clears throat> this is what Yahuwah, you know, delight in. And Samuel said, 
have Yahuwah as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahuwah? So he's asking a question here. Do he have do he give great delight in burnt offering and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahuwah? He said, Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. Obedience is better than sacrifice. We should obey what he has said, what he's given us, his commandments. You know, we, we have to be careful to listen, to do all the commandments that we was commanded. Now, if we could keep this Passover, you know, th this is one thing. To keep the Passover and keep it the way he said keep it, it would be great. But we cannot do it. Because, again, we scattered all over the earth. But we must, we, the only way we can keep this Passover, we have to be in the land. All, to, all the, 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 the priests has have to be there. It's a must. You know, the ten tribes was gone out of the land. You had Judah and Levi that was there. They were able to keep the the the, the, the um, offerings, the feast days because of the Levites. The Levites was the ones that sacrificed and did everything they did in the temple. That was their job. Without the Levites, we can't do anything. If it was just Judah in the land, they couldn't keep these feast days. They couldn't keep the temple. You can't even touch the ark. You, you you drop dead. That's just how he got it set up. He have his way of doing things, and we can't go against what he's already written. Um, again, man shall live by every word. Not one word that he wrote will fail. All will be fulfilled. Not one jot, one tittle will pass until all be fulfilled. When it comes to the, the wilderness. There is a possibility he is going to come back down. He's going to see he's he said he's going to speak to his people face to face. He can put his name. The tabernacle can be set up in the wilderness. I'm talking in times here. In the wilderness to come. He could set up that tabernacle. He can place his name there. Impossible. It's possible. It's just a possibility that Passover could be kept there with all 12 tribes there at that time. But other than that, it will not be kept. We not to keep this Passover scattered all over the earth. Everybody doing what they feel that's right in their own eyes. This is something that I wish we could keep this Passover. I, I would love to keep Passover as it is written in the law in the Torah, and it would be a joy. It's a it's a great you know it's great excitement to be able to bring. A righteous offering to Yahuwah from you know the land. This is something we've never experienced. To bring it, to give it to the priests, and the priests do their ministry in the temple. This 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 is awesome. This is something that you know your heart should be. This should be in your heart. It should be in your mind, and it should be in your heart to do His will and not our will. It's it's this is his thing. We supposed to listen, hear, and obey. That's what that's what Shema means. Shema means to listen, hear, and do what he has said for us to do. And again, we cannot do what we feel that's right in our own eyes. I hope this video helped. Um, we are in that Passover season. Um, people will be partaking in it in the next couple weeks have different dates they're going to be partaking of a different dates but anybody that hear this video you're being warned that he don't take he don't take no delight in this passover and the way anyone is doing it today because everyone that's trying to partake of it it's not the way it's supposed to they're not take they're not partaking of the way it's written up in scripture this passover must be without spot blemish it must be Pure and Kadash. They don't know where this meat coming from when it's coming out of these meat houses. They don't know if this lamb was crippled, lame. They have no idea. But again, this is this is something Kadash, and we should not partake of the of the Passover. Absolutely not. Shalom.